This video illustrates the concept of productive capital, technology, scale of operations in production. This is a small binding unit. It is located near Directorate of Distance Education, Annamalai University with heavy student population. To run this binding works, owner require various types of capital investment. Productive capital. The binder has limited resources for the purchase of these machineries termed as fixed capital investments. In order to do binding works for these machines which are not owned, then expenses are needed for hiring their services. As production is possible, only with the use of these machines, the binder has used his limited resources for the purchase of second-hand machines. Thus, productive capital consists of these items under fixed capital in a binding unit. Power is needed for running the machines. Paper is required as raw material. The worker helps the owner in performing different processes in binding notebooks and books. These items namely paper, electric power and manpower are termed as variable capital in production. What about paper? What type of capital it is? Let me answer your question. In binding works, machinery is fixed capital, whereas lubricating oil, power to run the machine, labor to operate it, paper to be cut are all variable capital. To produce the output in an enterprise, there is a proportion of these two types of capital depending on the type of technology and nature of product. Technology. It depends on the size and type of the unit. Technical progress plays major role in production as it leads to efficiency in the use of inputs. Spiral binding simplifies the work of a binder with the use of spiral machine. By putting holes at equal intervals by this machine, a well-trained binder can insert the rope quickly so as to get a flexible but tight bunch of papers. This is certainly possible with advancement in technology. Instead of using needle, pad and twine for stitching, the binding work is completed speedily. Why don't the binder use modern technology? The binder needs to know computer operation as well as typing to use modern technology. As he has contacts with DTP centers which are located closely to his working place, he directs his customers to print the required matter on the cover. If he gets computer training and purchases a computer, then it will do a lot of good to his business prosperity and its future growth. Scale of operations in production. Binding work is perfectly executed with the use of machinery. If the binder is unable to get bulk orders, the machine will remain idle and it will reduce his capacity to generate more income. In order to overcome this problem, economics of scale should operate by mobilizing bulk orders from the university officers and students for binding registers, records and projects. So average fixed cost will decrease, thereby reducing the cost per unit and increasing profit per unit. Thus, interval economies will operate with bulk orders. What are the determinants of scale of operation? Scale of operation is defined in terms of the level of use of different inputs needed in the production process. In the long run, technology decides the firm's size, deciding the scale of operation and quality of the product. If the quality is to be improved, certainly modern technology is needed and hence for future growth of the business concern the customer's demand is to be met. So the proprietor is to know the pulse of each customer regarding the quality of the product and decide suitably. In order to print matters in the front cover of the notebook, the binder is to hire the service of computer printing. 
However, to install the equipments for computer printing not only requires heavy capital investment but also necessitates employment of a computer literate. If the binder gets that training further, expansion and employment of the unit will be profitable. Otherwise, the binder is compelled to continue the present scale of operations, that is, a small productive unit. The scale of operations of the unit may still be increased if the binder is able to acquire external economies of scale with the addition of DTP works with the help of trained manpower from his own family members and with the use of subsidized credit, there is scope for further expansion of the binding unit.